So the game awards starts around uh, 1 to 2 hours, uh, at around 12 to 1 a.m. So thank you, Jeff, for that. And of course, with every year with the game awards, they announce new games. Obviously, the Game of the Year awards and such. So I want to show off a couple of uh, what I what I want to see because I'm going to be watching this. Bioshock 4. We've had a ton of leaks recently uh, about the next Bioshock. It's setting, it's name, it's uh, there's like a logo going around as well. So Last of Us Two Factions. Uh, we've been waiting for that for quite some time. This is the multiplayer component that was supposed to ship with the game, but didn't because. Uh, they got caught up with the main game or some shit. Last of Us Remake, probably unlikely, I reckon it's pretty soon. Uh, Resident Evil 8 DLC, uh, they announced this like a couple months after Resident Evil 8 came out. I enjoyed Resident Evil 8 and uh, I want to see the DLC for it. Resident Evil 4 Remake, the, uh, the leaks of this have been around for ages and uh, there's a lot of people that seem to think that we're going to get something here. Do I think we're gonna get something? Probably not in regard. I mean, blah, maybe. GTA 6. Now the reason I put GTA 6 here is because Rockstar is meant to be attending this and I can't think of anything else that they would announce that's like insanely huge. Red Dead 1 Remake is apparently in development. It's definitely not Red Dead 3. It's too soon. As far as anyone else knows, they're not working on any new IPs, so uh, <laughs> probably not. Citadel, uh, this is meant to be like the, the, the new Half-Life experience that's meant to ship with the, the um, fuck, what's it called? The Steam Deck. Valve's meant to be making an appearance. Uh, we're probably not going to get anything on Citadel, but I'd like to think that. Mario movie trailer, I want to see what it's like. Saints Row gameplay, this is um, already been confirmed. But I put this on here because I want to see it. And that's my predictions. I'll uh, see you in about 84 minutes when the show starts. Alright, finally. God, my pre-show's over. Another real deal. And it's a funeral. God damn it, I knew it. Jeff died. <laughs> the Gammy Awards. The Gummy Awards. To the Game Awards <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Now, Is it him? Here's your host, <gasps> Jeff. <laughs> We're here, we made it. <laughs> the only reason I'm here is because of him. Games. So Don't disappoint me, Jeff. Here today. Please. I beg. Don't disappoint. Oh, da damn! What a beat! No, put it back on. Go back. So apparently this is gameplay. Like this, this looks really good. Like this, this isn't a cutscene. This is gameplay. What the hell? What the fuck? Yo, he had a growth spurt and a half, didn't he? And this game it looks really immersive. Like genuinely. Blade 2. Oh, it's an existing franchise. Oh, well, there we are then. It's time for our first of many brand new game announcements at the Game Awards. I hope you're ready. Ooh. New things. It is Star Wars, right? I'm not just being an idiot. I have, I've never seen Star Wars. I don't know anything fucking about it. I think it's Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, okay. It is. It is. Thank God. I'm, I'm correct. Didn't want to sound like a wrong person. Hi, folks. Pete Hines here. Where's Todd? Can be yeah, Todd. We've got some stuff on sale, but let's all take a breather while we give away hundreds of free game codes. This is our small way of saying thank you for playing our games for the past 35 years. That's a lot of codes. There's so many. We have a project that can use your talents. In fact, across Bethesda and all our studios, we're hiring. So consider this your invitation to join us. There's a lot of work to be done, and they're still going. Forms to port Skyrim to, <laughs> and because it's is the foolish dream of mortals. Why does every bad guy sound like this? Oh man. They're the actors who portrayed Ellie and Abby in The Last of Us. Part oh, hello. Two. Please welcome Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey. My queens. 
year, the Best Performance category brings surprising new faces and portrayals of wildly different characters. Best performance. Of, co of course, she, uh, of course, Ellie's the one to announce that. To my little brother's idiot games, did you? She did very good. I'm not a simp. I'm just. I'm just. Fuck's sake. Maggie Roberts. Maggie. Hey. Demetrask. Let's go. Uh, well done. Well done. I'm happy with that. Oh, that really warmed my heart. Oh. And then we transition to this. <laughs> Wait, is this what I think it is? Wait, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Is this what I think it is? This story will eat you alive. Were you? Hello. And monsters wear many faces. You look familiar. Oh. Oh, okay, Alan Wake 2. <laughs> I even played the first one. Grade it? By all means, grade it till the cows come home. But don't grade it in the grinder. And then to drive the point home, he put his hands around my neck and he squeezed real hard and he said, Don't do it, son! Don't grade it in the grinder! Are you listening to me, boy? Are you listening? Wow. Yeah. What did I just watch? <clears throat> Inspiring words. But what do PC gamers actually want? Because I don't think it's that. They love games that aren't broken games. on release. Great, great. That went by very quick. I actually could have used one of them. Oh, <gasps> Candy Crush? No way. What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. T mobile games. Oh dear. Together with Truth, I have an important message. Vaping nicotine can increase anxiety symptoms and stress levels. I think it's really important to people know the truth about vaping nicotine. He looked about 10 in that walking shot. Oh, 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 oh. This could be big for a lot of people. People love Silent Hill. Booba. Oh no, I, I don't want any of that, thanks. What the fuck? What is that? What? Ugh. Ooh, that's a nice gun. God damn. What's with the gaming industry and big humans? It didn't look too bad. I noticed. I think it's like a free room. You can like build your own bases and stuff. Oh, it's fucking. Uh, what's his face? I forgot his name. I'm so uncultured. Oh, Gollum. That's what it was. Lord of the Rings. It's time to raid. Seriously. I don't know why I laughed. <gasps> oh my god. It truly was. It's a delicious last course. Oh, the delicious last course. One can eat their fill and still stay until the delicious last course. It's Better than modern day music, just saying. Oh, mm. They're off on their next adventure. This time to the fabled DLC Island. What DLC Island. <laughs> uh, you know, one franchise I love the art direction in, Silent Hill. I hope we get a new one of those. Anyhow. Oh, he's teasing something. He's <laughs> art direction. What a beautiful game. All right, now we have something very special. The gameplay world premiere trailer for Rocksteady's newest title, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice oh. League. We've all been waiting. Uh, I thought he was going to say Rockstar. I was like, hold up. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh dear. Kaylee! Oh what dear me. What do you think you're doing? Huh? That footage is strictly classified. I want the shark, man. Give, give me the shark. Where's the shark? Shark, man? Is that the shark? No, that's not the shark. Sonic. <laughs> Fallout 5? <laughs> Could you imagine? 
We are the big guys in the big armor and we rule everything. And right now, here's a brand new look at Saints Row. Oh shit, okay, 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 okay. Yes, finally! Fucking more Saints Row shit. That's the city, nice. Alright, okay. I mean, it looks fun. Definitely looks fun. But it's almost like it's having an identi ident identity crisis. Like, it, it doesn't it doesn't know if it wants to be grounded or, like, futuristic. Don't be among us. Please. Okay, I don't think it is. Among Us 3D. Could you imagine? Wait. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fin. I'm finished. I no. I'm not. I, I'm not playing. I'm not. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> oh no. Even he's laughing. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Where am I? How did we get from um, Among Us to here? I played Genshin like once and I was so fucking overwhelmed. I just did not know what to do, where to go, how to... It's so confusing. Like I played a bit of the first one, it's, it's like, it's good, but like... There's just something about it that I just couldn't get invested into it. You bastard. Oh shit. Oh god, night night time's the worst. Oh my god, it's the dying light! Wait, this is dying light, right? What the fuck? It looks nothing like the first one, but <laughs> Is this a Trump song by any chance? <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. This is still going. Please welcome Jack Septicai and a member of oh. our future class from 2020 oh. and one of the oh. judges who helped select the nominees for accessibility, the incredible Morgan Baker. Oh, our boy Jack. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> God, he looks sharp. And that's why we love being able to show our gratitude to those who go above and beyond each year, discovering new and creative methods to encourage inclusion. Here are the nominees. Innovation and oh, my childhood, right there. Jeff, thank you. It's good to be here at the Game Awards, and yes, this is one of the scenes that made The Matrix feel so groundbreaking, and perhaps inspired a few video games, too. Impressive. Thanks. Can you still do that? Absolutely not. But I can in the Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> I believe everyone oh, is yeah, expecting boy. to see something. But you know it's bad when you can't tell reality from from uh, a game. I think this is like a doors on your right. In-game render or whatever, right? Yeah. What? I, I I don't know. Our blurry. And with interactive storytelling reaching stunning levels of fidelity, maybe it's fair to ask, what is a game? What is a movie? Over 20 years ago, <laughs> Literally what I just said. Batteries. Neil Druckmann. Ooh, okay. I was wondering when Neil was going to come. 
There he is. Thanks, Jeff. My king. Man, it feels awesome to be back here together in person. And finally, congratulations to all of tonight's nominees. All pretty incredible games. And the 2021 Game of the Year is... Ooh, it's time. It takes two. Oh, hey. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Smack the cameraman. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, chill out. Them. I mean, this is the best thing he looks happened. like that one guy from uh, Thank you again. A Way I'm Out. Really I'm shaking. Look at me, man. This is like a big, big moment for me. Oh, well done, man. Well done. GG's. I didn't play your game, but it must be good if it won Game of the Year. Congratulations. Well done. Joseph <laughs> Ferris. So amazing. Such a pleasure that we got to do this in person. Thank you so much. Have a great holiday season. Good night, everybody. Can we get something else? Sneaky at the end. That's it. Well, thank you for watching the Game Awards with me. Um, <laughs> on my list, one game got crossed out, and that was Saints Row, and we already knew that one was going to be shown off. It got a little bit too ambitious, I think. Um, there were some games I wanted. Uh, Alan Wake 2, that looked really interesting. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West, Dying Light 2, and I'm sure there were some other ones I forgot to put down as well, but, um, but yeah, this was the Game Awards, and... Uh, recording for three and a half hours. It's four in the morning right now. Uh, I'm gonna go off, get sleep, and edit this when I wake up. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and uh, catch you in the next one.